George Galloway joins us now. Tottenham fan Lord Sugar is amongst those who've spoken out against the former Labour MP, calling him a racist and a piece of trash. And he joins us live from his home in Essex this morning. George, if you had just stopped uh, before making mention of the Israel flag, it would have been all right. Why did you have to put that in? It's like being lectured by the hunchback of Notre Dame. What, to me sit asking up you straight. that question? No, Lord Sugar sitting there in his, uh, his expansive uh, drawing room. Uh, this man who tweeted the most outrageous, racist trash at the time of the World Cup about the Senegal football team. To answer your question directly, I call out the Israel flag every time I see it whether Tommy Robinson and the EDL are carrying it or the loyalists in East Belfast or the football fans at Rangers or at Tottenham Hotspur. Why do because you call out the Israel flag? Because it is an Israel flag. Mm, but why do you call it out? Why do I call it out? Because it's the flag of apartheid. I have spent 45 years fighting for the Palestinian people. So if you feel like me, and millions do, I assure you, including many watching this morning... You have to call it out. But you also it, know, George, you also, like... but George, you also know that Tottenham Hotspur has famously a very large Jewish following. They, many of the fans will show an Israel flag uh, from time to time. They're very proud of it. They're very proud of their Jewish uh, heritage. And there's no doubt that when you first see that tweet that you do, as Tottenham Hotspur rightly said, as Lord Sugar and other prominent Jews in this country have said, it just looked blatantly anti-Semitic. Well, what's Israel got to do with Judaism? M many Jews in Britain and in the world are completely against Israel. And many, and many are not. Well, and many, and many are, are not. Are not. And I'm, you I'm, you against, I'm against Israel. But you're entitled There's to... There's no point in arguing about this, uh, Piers. You know my position, I know yours. I'm against Israel. You've been fired. You've been, fired. You've been with... fired for choosing a moment of a football match. Yeah. You've... In which I've just been watching all these Israel flags being right, flown. Right, but the implication, the implication, whether you like it or not, was that to the Jewish following no. of Tottenham Hotspur, this is the implication they took, well, is that you were choosing that moment uh, to gloat that actually a Jewish-supported football club had failed to win the Champions League. You the, know that. No, I don't know it. It's false. This is not Alice in Wonderland where you get to choose what words mean whenever you like. The words are the words. You've been fired for those words. Well, look, I haven't been paid for more than two months and my producer got sacked on Friday night before the show. So there's much more to this than you know, but you will know uh, all of it. Uh, ever since Ofcom found against my show mm -hmm. some months ago on the Scripple affair and on the Jeremy Corbyn affair, two counts... The show's been in special measures. But I don't want to dwell George, on many talk people radio see because criticism. I've already moved on. But Many people see the delegitimization of the Israeli state as anti-Semitic. Well, that your issue no, it's is a trick. It's a trick. with Jewish it's people. It's a trick that they play and they always play it. Who said that to me? Shulamit Aloni, a cabinet minister in an Israeli government, over dinner in her house in Tel Aviv. You can have an they issue brand... with the Israeli government no, no, or the, the Israeli leader, but why an issue because with the Israeli... Because it's a trick they Israel play. As a country. They brand anyone who supports the Palestinians as an anti-Semite. She told me, it's a trick we play. Now, they've done it to Jeremy Corbyn, they've done it to Bernie Sanders, to Chris Williamson, a list as long yeah, but George, as you are. George, let me again... But it doesn't yeah. wash much no, but anymore. George, here's what doesn't wash either. Mm. And I, so I've known you a long time. Mm. I like you personally. I respect you in many ways, right? On this, as an Arsenal fan, I've got no truck with Tottenham fans whatsoever, except this. Arsenal has a large Jewish following too, mm. right? We're two North London teams set in areas with lots of Jewish people living them, right? I was offended on behalf of Tottenham fans. I was, mm. because... Actually, there was no need for you to make a political point about well, Israel I in a hashtag about a football match. No, because I always it looked, make it. It looked like you were delighted. Well, why were they waving? You at... weren't delighted that Tottenham had lost because they play badly, or you're an Arsenal fan. Uh, you were delighted they lost because of their connections to Jewish people and to Israel. Well, this and is that Alice is, in Wonderland. It's not you Alice are in Wonderland. Infer you're inferring things that aren't there in black and white. I mean, very you know, things that actually you know are there in black and white, Jules. You know, they're not. The, the they words are. in black you and white... You literally put it in black and white. Black and white Israel flags. That's nothing why to did do you need with to, Jewish people. Why did you mean because to make I that point? Because I had been watching those Israel flags being waved 
all evening. You were watching as hundreds right. of millions. So here's my point to you, them. George. You were watching Jewish fans. They weren't. Pop- how do you know they were Jewish? Tommy Robinson isn't Jewish. So you when think, he walks down the road, you think the people the that were waving Jewish? They almost certainly weren't Jewish. Right, and so you, you th- know that very you well think, too. Right. So they you almost don't. Almost certainly weren't Jewish. But you don't it's know who they were. It's a political flag. You don't no, know who they were. I just know what the flag is. Right. I would the, argue it is highly. Flag it is highly. It, right. I would argue it is highly likely that the people that were putting up Israel flags in the Tottenham crowd were probably Jewish, right? No, well, I, and therefore, your flies hash- in the face of so all that, evidence. Well, you don't know. Oh, you have I no do. idea. I, I, but I but read, you don't think they were? I read Lord Finkelstein on this very subject. He says that the great majority of people singing what they sing, shouting what they shout, waving what they wave, are not Jewish. But I don't care if they're Jewish or not Jewish. It's the flag I'm against. No, it's and I'm the against it against. because it flutters over the Gaza fence when little children are being murdered every Friday right. by snipers. Right. And That's you, why I'm against and, it. And they would say, what about all the rockets that get fired by Hamas the other way? What do well, you say to that? Because they were killing those children right. before Hamas you, ever existed. But you have a position. They've been killing them famous, since 1948. George, you have a famous position yes. on this, right? Yes. Everybody knows your position on yes. it. It is completely one-sided. That's entirely your right. Yeah. What I don't think is your right mm. is to put a hashtag like that on a night that Tottenham lose a game, mm. which, if you're a Jewish fan of Tottenham, you take as a personal no. insult well, in an anti-Semitic manner. Mm. Take a look at my uh, Twitter uh, uh, line and you'll see a significant number of Jewish people absolutely supporting And it. I've seen a significant number of Jewish people enraged yes, and well, furious. most Jewish people... And what people. they see at a time in this country, yeah. George, yeah. at a time in this and country... Anti-Semitic oh, attacks no, on the rise it's of a it is a, it is a, it's a, Don't a talk time... to me about attacks, I'll show you my scars. Right. Don't talk to me about attacks. Muslims are attacked in Britain. Yes. 10, 20 times more than Jewish that people mean are. That anti-Semitic you don't, but you don't talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. Don't talk to me about attacks. I can show you my scars, literally. Anti-Semitism, anti-Muslimism, anti-Blackism, anti-Irishism mm-hmm. are foul, evil, poison. All of and them. the difference is I stand against all of it. All right. And we're all go- of it. All right, George, uh, thank you. We're going to go to Lord Sugar now. Lord Sugar, former chairman of Spurs, you were uh, brought up in a Jewish mm-hmm. family. You've heard what George Galloway has to say. What do you say about this? Well, he's talking a load of garbage, as usual. First of all, Piers, you've been to Tottenham with me when I've invited you there with with your dad. I was at the Champions League game uh, this week. I walked with 1,500 Tottenham fans and and, uh, Liverpool fans from where they dropped me off because we couldn't get the car straight up to the thing. I did not see, and I have never seen, an Israeli flag flown. There was no Israeli flags with the fans. The fans had their blue and white uh, stuff. They had all that. Never seen an Israeli flag flown. So he's a bloody liar, a total liar. Ever heard he's of hanging Google? on the Israeli flags being flown. Never heard of Google. A complete Just utter Google liar. it and you'll see hundreds of them. All right, Lord Sugar, let me just ask shut you. your mouth. Just shut your mouth right, for a minute. Let's, okay, let's keep your just civilized. shut your okay. mouth for let's a minute. Let's keep your civilized. Let Lord talk. Sugar, let me ask you this. Just me, shut your mouth for a minute. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. On the assumption that Israel flags have occasionally been flown in Tottenham crowds, right? Let's assume that for a moment. Would you find what George Galloway said about Israel as a state and its flag? Why is that anti-Semitic to you? Well, first of all, Piers, what his opinion is on Israel, which is a separate country to England and Palestine, that's his opinion, he's entitled to it, OK? The fact that he put it in a tweet associated with the Champions League game was for one reason and one reason only. He is an anti-Semite, as simple as that. Everybody knows, as you've quite rightly stated, that we have a great following of Jewish fans, just like Arsenal do, because we're in North London, OK? So it was absolutely designed to show that he's an anti-Semite, because what has Israel got to do with the Champions League game? What has Israel got to do with, uh, and Palestine problem, got to do with a game of football between us and Liverpool? It was absolutely designed to mean what it does and what everybody else has interpreted it to be. He's an absolute, vehement anti-Semite. 
Bottom line, end of story. And that's why we're all so upset about it. He said, uh, and he has a point, that you yourself tweeted something that many people took to... It was, it was a joke, as you put it, uh, but many people took it as racially insensitive and bordering on racist. What do you say to that? Yeah, I mean, I remember that occasion last year. It was a terrible mistake. It was meant as a joke, a bit like... You know, it was meant as a joke. We've spoken about it before. I apologised immediately. Um, and I'd like him now to have the guts, alive on television, to apologise to the Jewish fans of Tottenham Hotspur, or, in fact, the Jewish fans of Arsenal or anywhere, or the Jewish fans of Liverpool also, for making that inappropriate remark. Well, let me... George, let me put it this way to you. He didn't, by the way, no. apologise for it immediately. He defended it resolutely. Well, he four said... Four days but, but he made before he, he made actually, apologised. Shut actually, your mouth. Actually, that's not true. Why don't you shut your that's mouth? Not, I, I saw I, his okay, defence. Your your it's not true that it took days. He actually no. responded within hours and he did apologise, mm -hmm. right? The point being this, though. Let's reverse this situation for yeah. a moment, right? Let's say that there was an, a, an Arab football team that had mm. got to the Champions League final, right? Mm. Mm. And when they lost, mm. Lord Sugar had tweeted, at least we won't see any Palestine flags mm. flying, mm. right, on the cup. Mm. You would have been outraged and no, defended. Yes, uh, you would. No, no, Why no, pretend otherwise? Uh, uh, you, would have said, otherwise. you would have said that was no. a Jewish attack Listen, on the Arab my people. My team, Celtic, got heavily fined because a significant section of the, the Celtic crowd wave Palestinian flags. If Alan Sugar had said, if Celtic in the unlikely event had lost a cup final, there'll be no Palestinian flags on the cup, that would have been an attack on the Palestinian political entity and its flag. And that would have been his right, and he All would right. have done it.